the roll exercise level one practice. In this video I'll show you how I use this exercise in a level one practice setting. Remember level one is getting in shape, warming up, you haven't been playing for a while and you're getting back to it. After I show you how I use the exercise, I'm going to do a, a lesson on how to play a role in case you're someone who doesn't know how to play a role. If you know how to play a role, then you can just watch this first part and, and stop the video and go on from there. If you don't know how to play a role, watch this, then watch the second half where I'll explain it, and then come back and watch the first half again, and then you'll know what you need to do to practice this exercise at level one. I like to practice this at level one when I haven't been playing for a while as a buzz stroke exercise, meaning my roll strokes are multiple bounce strokes, like that. Those are called buzz strokes. I like to play it around the tempo marking of 100, and what I do is I repeat the exercise over and over, and I'm really concentrating on my buzz strokes, trying to get them to be as as clean as possible, I guess I should say, or truly as buzzy as possible. And uh, that's my focus as I'm warming up with this or getting back in shape. So here it is at 100, and um, I'll go through it a few times and talk a little as I'm playing. Back to the beginning. Really listening. Beginning. listening for is trying to get my buzz strokes to connect to each other to make a continuous buzz sound. That's what I'm listening for. I recommend that that's how you play this exercise in level one. Just buzz strokes. Save the double strokes for level two. I recommend starting at around 100 beats per minute. From there you should work up in, in uh, steps of five. Go to 105, 110, 115. See how fast you can go. My guess is as you get close to 130, it's going to become difficult. You're going to start pressing and getting tight. That's when you need to stop. That's too fast. Also starting at 100, work backwards. Go slower with it. 100, 95, 90, and see how slow you can get. My guess is somewhere around 80, it's going to get a little bit awkward, perhaps too slow to, to sound like a roll. It won't sound like a roll anymore and uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of the exercise. Good luck with it as you get more comfortable with that and you get warmed up and back into shape, go on to level two where we'll do it as a double stroke exercise. Again, as always, play this exercise right-handed and left-handed. If you're left-handed, start with your left. If you're right-handed, start with your right. If you want to develop both your hands, play it both-handed. Good luck. Stick around if you want to learn about how to play the buzz stroke. Playing this exercise, the roll exercise. To play the exercise, you have to know how to play a roll. If you're watching, you probably are watching because you don't know how to play a roll and you're wondering how to play a roll. Well, there's two types of rolls that drummers use the buzz stroke roll and the double stroke roll. The buzz stroke roll is also known as the closed roll, the press roll, the orchestral roll. All those names kind of mean the same. The double stroke roll is also known as the open roll or the marching roll. In level one, we're going to play the exercise just as a buzz stroke roll. We're not going to do the double strokes until level two. So I'm going to show you how to play a buzz stroke and how to learn to play this exercise with buzz strokes. A buzz stroke. You're taking your stick and you're allowing it to bounce on the drum head, or in this case the pad head, like that.
there's some tricks to this. When I'm throwing the stick down, my back two fingers are coming off the stick. I'm not really using them to make the buzz stroke. When the stick hits the drum pad, I'm going to apply pressure right in here in this triangle point between my uh, middle finger, pointer finger, and thumb. There's some pressure that's involved in there that I apply to the stick to get that bounce like that. And that's what you have to work on first, is getting that bounce. The back two fingers come back into play when you bring the stick up to the full stroke position. That's when those fingers come back into the stick to help bring the stick up. Back fingers come in. Back fingers come in. That is the buzz stroke. We're getting that stick to bounce as much as possible. You don't want to be too tight because you'll get this. That's not good. And you don't want to be too loose because you'll get that. That's a ball bouncing. We need a, a certain amount of pressure to get a good buzz sound. Practice that. Practice it with your other hand. In this case, my left, which is my weak hand. Start with your strong hand and then move to your weak hand. When you're comfortable doing the buzz stroke with both hands, try alternating them. Slowly, not too fast. Get comfortable with the buzz stroke from hand to hand. Work on that first. When you're comfortable with that, come to the exercise and what I want you to do is start the exercise at 50 beats per minute. I'm going to lower my metronome to 50. That's 50. The first line is single strokes and that's easy. You've already done that in my other exercises. You've done it at this tempo. Shouldn't be any problem for you. Wrist strokes. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. That's the first line. The second line is the same thing as the first line, except you're going to play a buzz stroke in place of a single stroke. So instead of a group of four single strokes, play a group of four buzz strokes. Here is that. Four groups of them. Here it is. That's how you do that. The next line, we're going to play two groups of four, or two groups of sixteenth notes as single strokes, followed by two groups as buzz strokes. The extra little slash line that I've written, that indicates in music it usually means a double stroke. We're going to use it as a universal symbol for double stroke or buzz stroke. In this case, we're going to play those as buzz strokes. So these are standard sixteenths, followed by sixteenths with the extra slash, which tells us to play a double or a buzz. We're doing a buzz. So third line, uh, two beats of single stroke sixteenths, two beats of buzz strokes. Here's what that sounds like. Three E and a four E and a one. That's that line. The next line, one beat of single strokes, one beat of buzz strokes, that's four and four, and then again, one beat of singles, one beat of buzz, this is how that line goes. Three E and a, four E and a. And the last line is two and twos four times. Two singles, two buzz, two singles, two buzz, two singles, two buzz, two singles, two buzz. Goes like this. Three E and a, four E and a. There it is. That's each line by itself. If you need to, practice each line by itself. Repeat each line over and over until you're comfortable with it. When you're comfortable, try the whole exercise from beginning to end. And then you can either repeat back and do it again without stopping, or if you want to tap out, play a quarter note tap at the end and restart. If you feel comfortable after you tap out and you're ready for more speed, 
bump the tempo up five clicks, as we've done with all of the other exercises. Go up in fives, 50, 55, 60. Here it is at 50. I'll play it once, and then I'll bump it up. Whole thing. Here we go. And... Second line, bounce strokes. Third line. Fourth line. Last line. Tap out. Bump up five. Two, three, four. Third line. Fourth line. Last line. Once more, we'll go at 60. Two, three, four. Second line. Third line. Fourth line. Fifth line. Tap out. And keep working up that way. Go to 65, 70, 75. As you get closer to 100, it will start to sound like a roll on these parts of the exercise. When you get to there, go back to the beginning of this video, watch what I show you there, and practice as I ask you to practice in that part of the video, and then you've got it. Then after you get good at it in level one, move on to level two, and you're ready to learn the double stroke roll.